Hey guys, Jeff here, and today we're gonna build a C70 camera rig. So I'm gonna build this camera in three different ways. The first way is gonna be just like lean and mean, handheld, no frills. We'll look at it with and without a monitor, accessory attachment. The second way that I'm gonna build it out is in a scenario where I'm gonna be handheld, but I'm gonna be shooting for a lot longer period of time. And in which case I'm gonna to need to get onto easy rig. One of the drawbacks of the DSLR form factor, which is sort of the shape of this camera, you know, meant for kind of like shooting like a DSLR, is as a video camera, while I like its kind of boxy nature, it's really best meant to be shot waist level. You know, it, you gotta rig this thing out if you wanna go shoulder mount, and then if you need to go onto an easy rig because hand holding might be too wearisome, well, then you gotta build it out to be even heavier for the stability. So I have found that, you know, if I'm doing just short amounts of B-roll, the lean and mean approach is really nice, but if I'm needing any longer days of shooting, then I'll probably rig it out bigger and go with an easy rig. So the first step, of course, is to get a battery in this puppy. And I got my screen flipped around here, ready to go. And, you know, honestly, I could just shoot with this camera like this. So this would be sort of the leanest and meanest version of shooting with this camera. Um, you know, obviously I'd get a lens hood on my, my lens and uh, some people rig it out with matte boxes and things like that, and that's fine. You know, the next step up from that would be in scenarios where maybe I wanna be manual focus, okay? In which case, I'm gonna bring in a Tilta bottom plate. Slide that on. And I'm gonna add in a rail, which allows me to attach the Tilta follow focus. And boom, there we go. Now, if I wanna add a monitor, I've got this small rig nano plate attachment, which allows me with a small rig nano plate attached to the monitor to add a monitor onto this rig. Of course, I need to power it, so I'm gonna just power it with MP battery and pop an HDMI cable in, like so. Now I've got all the tools and controls of having a Ninja monitor on board. I can go autofocus or I can go manual focus, so I have some options. So if I wanna get sound on board, I wanna send sound out of my, my audio bag and right into the camera. I've got this Cable Techniques mini XLR cable to eighth inch to go into my Sennheiser G4 hop. And that allows me to pop a hop onto the camera. And it's nice because I can bypass any of the ridiculous adapters that go mini XLR to full size XLR. It just becomes a cumbersome deal. Instead, I've just got this one cable that connects sound to the camera. So this would be a pretty nice little, you know, smaller run and gun type setup uh, for autofocus or manual focus, getting some sound right into the camera, as well as all the tools that I would be able to get, like, you know, false color and waveform monitoring and peaking and uh, pulling up LUTs and things like that right here on my Ninja, which would be really nice. Now, if I'm working on a project that isn't just little bits of B-roll here and there handheld, but I'm gonna be going handheld for a longer period of time, I'm gonna wanna get this thing onto an easy rig to just save my body. So the first step is to get my eyelet on board here. The easy rig certainly can just grab onto my top handle, but I have found that it to be kind of a pain in the butt to work with. And instead I use this frog and I attach this end to the actual easy rig and then it's just got this carabiner connection that is really nice and easy and simple for myself or anybody that's helping me um, to get that on and off. The next step is a little bit more weight and balance on the back end of the camera. And so I'm gonna add on this Nitze V-mount to D-tap connector on some rails and I'm gonna tighten that down. What this allows me to do now is to get these little Came TV V-mount batteries, pop that onto the back, and it allows me to get away, if I'm going longer form content, I don't wanna have to be dealing with these MP batteries all day long. I can power my monitor, I could even power my camera directly off of the V-mount battery, should I choose. So I use this little adapter here. All these items will be listed down below in the description for those who are interested. 
and I run this, obviously get some bongo ties involved and uh, that way I got a little bit nicer cable management happening. It's a real tight connection on these D-taps back here. Tap that in and now I can run my monitor off of this battery and it also gives me some stability on the back end, which is really nice. At this point, I'd probably also choose to add on some time code. Longer form content with audio, I'm gonna want some time code attached. Get my time code on there. Again, bongo ties, getting some good cable management going there. And it's nice because it's nice and balanced for an easy rig now. In the event that I need to go shoulder mount, it's a little bit of a different story. I'm gonna need to back out just for a moment here, my follow focus, and I've got this connection that allows me to connect directly to a rail and it's got a nano on the other end. And what this allows me to do is I get this in nice and close to the camera body. This allows me to attach as an electronic viewfinder. Say I'm gonna go shoulder mount and it's gonna be you know bright and sunny kind of day. This particular port keys Lei 3 says L-E-Y-E, Lei is what I'm gonna call it. Um, it's, it's a nice viewfinder. I'm gonna have a review out about it. It's got a diopter built in. It's got waveforms. It's got peaking. It's got zebras. It's got false color. I can load LUTs into it, which is cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach this fella on. And I'm gonna add another rail on the front. I'm gonna get my follow focus if I'm wanting to go manual focus, which in a lot of cases I do. Some cases I go autofocus. It just depends on the uh, type of work that I'm doing, what I'm shooting that day. Obviously I would calibrate that. And I'm gonna add these front handles to the camera as well. Now, if I was gonna do some uh, filming throughout the day and I didn't need this monitor, I can certainly save myself the weight. I can unplug it. You know, I might keep it on there in case I want to bounce between easy rig and shoulder mount, but for the sake of seeing what we're doing here, I'm going to go ahead and remove it for now. So it's a lighter weight shoulder rig. And what's also cool about this Porta Keys electronic viewfinder is it can be powered off of this Limo cable. So it's a Limo cable to a D-tap. And again, you know, some good cable management is in order. Get some bongo ties going. And then we're gonna connect with via HDMI, the electronic viewfinder. Got some Velcro on the bottom of my rails back here. So that allows me to slap this Velcro shoulder pad. And then I'm ready to go shoulder mount. So this would be a good situation for like being outside in really bright, sunny conditions and that I want the shoulder mount sort of look. You know, over the shoulder shots for narrative or documentary run and gun this is a nice setup. And on the shoulder, it's not so bad. I've got a pretty good center of gravity from the weight of the camera straight down onto my shoulder. You know, I could even, if I wanted, snuggle it up even closer. And it's nice because I can it's nice because I can kind of customize the position of these things. You know, should I want my camera to be a little bit more centered over my shoulder? That feels pretty good. And I can move these things around to kind of adjust it just to where I like it. You know, I could get my handles in closer if I want my handles in real close to my chest, have them further out. I can get my viewfinder exactly where I need it. It's certainly helpful if you have somebody to assist you in this process, because as you're holding it and kind of calibrating where you need things to be, they can be tightening up the little clamps and the nano clamps and kind of getting things wired up and help you in that department. Now this little camera has been built out into this bigger thing, but it's really helpful for the easy rig. It gives me more stability and it's nice and balanced. And if I'm going shoulder mount, of course I can get my electronic viewfinder on there, 
which helps in really bright, sunny situations. And the electronic viewfinder gives me some of those same controls, such as peaking and false color, waveform, zebra, histogram. I can load LUTs to it. I can power it off of the V-mount battery. I can power a monitor off the V-mount battery. I could power the camera off the same V-mount battery. And it gives me options between autofocus or manual focus. And I can run sound from my audio bag right into the camera as well, along with sending time code to the camera. A lot of nice options for being able to rig out this camera and is something that's a little bit more useful than simply just the waist level B-roll type shots. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be useful. I'll put all the links to all this equipment down below so you have it there. And uh, please hit that subscribe, helps the channel grow, hit the like sign, those things do matter. And uh, thank you for watching.